first step in making your social media press kit button work in MacMail is to make sure that your social media press kit button image is saved somewhere on your computer you can remember where it is. In this case, I've saved mine to the desktop as you can see here. The next step will be to create a new signature. To do so, within MacMail, click on Mail in the navbar at the top of the screen. Then click Preferences. In the Preferences window, you have General, Accounts, RSS, Junk Mail, Fonts and Colors, Viewing, Composing, Signatures and Rules. Obviously, we will need the Signatures tab. Under the Signatures tab, you will see three boxes. The left-hand box will show which email accounts you have synced with MacMail. The center box will show which signatures you have created. And the right-hand box will show the contents of the current selected signature. To create a new signature, simply click the plus symbol below the center box. You can name the signature whatever you like. Now that we've created a new signature, of course, we want to add our button and then add a link to that button to our new social media press kit. However, you may have noticed there's no way to do this within the right-hand box in the Signatures tab. To get around this, we will create our signature in a new message and then paste it within the Signatures tab. To do this, first close your Mail Preferences window and then click New Message. Once your new message window is open, in the body of the email, simply type out your signature as you would like it to appear. Once you have done so, you may now add the image. If you save the image to the desktop like me, you can simply click and drag into the body of the email. Great! Now I have my image in my signature. Next step is to add a link. To do this, I need to select the image by clicking on it once. Then, by clicking Edit in the navbar at the top, then scrolling down to Link, and then Add. In the box, I will enter the address to my social media press kit. Don't forget to add HTTP colon forward slash forward slash to the beginning of the address. Once I'm done, I click OK, and then the link is applied to my image. Now comes the final step. In the new message window where I created my signature, I put the cursor anywhere within the message, and hold down Command and push A. This will select everything. Now I hold down Command and push C. That is to copy the entire contents of the message. Now, I need to reopen the Signatures window under Mail Preferences and select the signature I wish to edit. Then, within the body of that signature, push Ctrl A, then Ctrl V to paste the contents of my new signature. Now, when you click New Message, your new signature with your Social Media Press Kit button will appear. You will not be able to click on this link in the Compose Email window, but when the email is received, this will work as a link. Congratulations, you've now set up your social media press kit button.